Hello everyone, welcome back to Boxer Gaming and episode number 11. God, this is going fast, isn't it? It's uh, pretty cool. So, um, where I left you last time is with these bags and I just want to show you what they can do. So, um, let's go with my Digger's Backpack and show you what they can do. So, normal mode is like this. So, anything you drop on the floor, like cobblestone for example, will go into that backpack. Alright? Um... And there's a few other options, really cool stuff you can do. Um, you can see I've got some stuff in there. Now, the reason I wanted to make it last episode was because I did a lot of mining in between. Um, still didn't get much gold, and even worse, not much copper. It's I've been digging up really high in the world, still not much copper. Look at the tin I've got, it's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> so I might have to do something about that. I'm not sure yet what exactly, but that's okay. So, uh, also upgrade that to gold, by the way. Uh, it's very easy. You just get the iron chest and you surround it with gold. You can also get the upgrade, but it crashed my world before when I tried to do it to iron. So, I didn't even want to try that. <laughs> right. So, oh, you look at the sheep. You can see them. So, the bags. Uh, if you hold shift, then you right click. Um, you see the icon changing. So, now it's locked. That means no items will go in there when they drop on the floor. They wouldn't go in this bag anymore. Um, apart from that, you have this um, thing, which is the receiving mode, which I can, um, let's see, this is Digger's backpack, so I don't know if it works with these, I don't think it does, um, but if I would right click on this, for example, supposedly, it would have picked up all the gravel that was in there, so it, it'll pick up any items that it can have in there from the chest, if you right click on it, shift right click on the chest, um, so that's that, now the other option is this, um, and this mode is very cool, this is what I use the most. Say, for example, I don't have any of this course, I just have one. And you can see it's recharging all the time. Um, and that's because it'll always keep a full stack, or it'll try to anyways, on your hotbar. So if I drop that on the floor, it'll go in there and it'll replenish this first, and then it'll go into uh, Digger's backpack. So this way you always have a stack of cobblestone or dirt, whatever you choose, on your hotbar, which is very nice when you go digging. Um, so those are the bags. You can also shift right click a bag on a chest and it'll deposit everything in that chest which is kind of neat as well. Um, which I might actually just do right here. So now everything went in here. Now I don't want all this dirt in there but that's okay. That's okay. We'll deal with that. That's easy. We'll just uh, right click on those. Now as you can also see I added one more for sugar cane and one for sand. Yeah. Pretty cool isn't it? The other thing I did off camera was uh, one of the most boring things of all time. Why is it raining? Uh, one of the most boring things of all time. And this makes these farms. So, oh, where's that cow? It's dancing as well. Um, I got some sheep here, which is so easy. <laughs> uh, and then I went to look for some cows. Now, it took me ages. I walked all the way that way. I couldn't find anything. I got to a big ocean. And I just gave up. Then I walked back to my old house because I remember there were some cows around there. I couldn't find anything. So, I decided to walk in a circle like that. And finally, I found another village, which is the third village that I uh, ever found, which is pretty cool. It was uh, all in the snow biome, looks very nice. And I found some cows there. And I had to walk them back all the way here, and it was only four of them, and I've been breeding them quite diligently, because we need a lot of leather, of course, for bookcases. Um, pigs as well was not too big of a problem, I found them there. It's very easy. Um, sugarcane, apparently, I don't know why, but there's so much sugarcane in this world. I don't know if that's something to do with 1.4 or, you know, something else. Uh, reeds, of course, I had a lot from the grass that was there, so I planted all that. Uh, not reed, uh, wheat. So that's all I'm um, done. So that's pretty nice. Um, so we've done all of that. Now, let's see. The other thing that I found, uh, not actually uh, in between last episodes, but the episode before, and you can see there in the, in the distance is the dungeon. I actually found a, a nifty little dungeon. So we can just um, run there, maybe. It's not too far. Um, and that was pretty cool. Um, I haven't been in there yet. Uh, I've never been in one of those before, so I don't really know what I should expect. Uh, you can see the sheep here again. There's so bloody many of them everywhere. It's a bit annoying, really. Because <laughs> I was looking for cows, and every time you see something, it's like sheep. So you can see sheep everywhere. It's a bit weird. That's okay. I also found that little patch of... Um, of crazy more sheep of uh, ground that was completely disappeared and I thought it was just a world loading um, bug. I actually ran into it a few times when I was strip mining. Uh, it's still there, it doesn't matter if I log out or not, so it's probably a world generation error which is a bit weird. Hang on, where am I going? I passed it. <laughs> oh, the rain stopped. Oh god, it's such a beautiful no nose. Beautiful noise, this silence. Oh, that's good. 
All right, so we can just walk past here. Um, and here we go. Of course, there's more sheep here. Uh, dungeon. So, I haven't been here before. Um, oh, the noises. What the? Okay, there's some spawners. That's good. We'll need those. Uh, this is a zombie. A few zombies. It's okay. Oh, we don't have much armor. That's a bit of a problem. Oh, it's okay. Ow, what is hitting me? Ow! Oh, it's a wisp. What the? Okay, I have to be careful. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Whisper are a bit annoying because I don't have a bow. Uh, Whisper added by Formcraft, which I want to get into very soon because I'm so excited. You've been, you've noticed that I've been uploading it at least an episode every day because I'm so excited. I want to play more of this and I don't want you guys to miss too much. Where's that wisp? It's in the bottom. All right, leave it. We can make it. Five hearts. Whoa, 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 ow, help. Okay, four and a half. Five hearts, let's go. Char oh shit, there's a zombie as well. Oh, this is, oh god, oh god. Ow! <laughs> help. So that's the noise, that's the wisp, isn't it? Oh, careful. Uh, whilst we regen some health. Oh, four mirror axe, that is amazing, that's pretty cool. Um, that is cool. Normally you can't get that until you um, research formium. That's pretty sick. I'm happy with that. What's in here? Gold. Okay, that's good. And steel sword. Meh. Not bad. Not great. Oh, a lot of formium. Thank you. Whoa, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow. Stop. Oh, whoa. Is it growing? It's red now. It was not red before. And some bones. Uh, bones are nice, but not great. Oh, I'm really happy about that. That's that's pretty awesome. I'll show you what you can do with them. You see, you can make this armor with them, which is pretty sick. Um, pickaxes and all that. Um, that is nice. Sword. Okay, I've got five hearts again. I think maybe I should... Well, how am I going to get out if he's just going to zap me? Come on, zap me. Come on. Ow, of course. Wait, that's not it at all. It's there, what the? Oh, gotcha. What did that drop? Ah, wispy essence, very nice. I'm gonna need that later on. What is that thing? Oh, whoops. Okay, sorry, sorry. I, uh... Ow. Why is that still spawning? Zombies, that's weird. Yeah, so we'll leave that there for now. I'm not sure what I can do with that. Can I hit it? Oh, yeah, it's just normal wisp. Okay, that's fine. That's easy. They don't hurt all that much. They're just very annoying because... Yeah, really? Huh. They're just very annoying because you can't really... Um, Ow. They sort of fly away, but in an enclosed area like this, it's not really a problem at all. Right, so this is cool. That's two spawners. We're going to use those, definitely. Definitely. Once once we get into, of course, there's a sheep here. Of course. <laughs> once we get into soul shards, we'll we'll get that going. All right. So the next thing we want to set up is a rubber farm, and I'll just do that off camera. I think I have some saplings, and I've got lots of bones, so that's good. We can just uh, keep growing them. So let me do that and get some rubber from them as well, um, because that's going to take ages. So I will see you back in just a minute. All right, I'm back. So. Uh, made a nice little farm here, not not too big, but not too small either. Uh, now, what you want to make is a tree tap, which is uh, just some wood, just like that, in a sort of a tap shape, I guess. And this thing, like I have here in my hand, uh, you just right click on these collet thingies and they drop sticky resin, which is this stuff right here. Um, and you need that to make rubber. So, I would recommend always making a farm because if you want to do some Damn it. If you want to do some industrial craft, you're definitely going to need a lot of this stuff. So making a farm is nice. Um, now you can see these things break very easily. I made two. I already broke one and this one is about to break as well. There we go. So yeah, it's a bit annoying. There is a way to automate it a bit later on, but um, you know, we're not there yet. We'll need a lot more stuff. So now that we've done that, let's get into the actual making of stuff. Now what we need to start get started is get some iron, right? 
and we're going to get some of that smelting. Um, apart from that, we also need to get some rubber smelting. Now, we don't need too much. So, let's have a look at what we need. First of all, we need an industrial craft power source. So, for that, we're going to make a generator. Which is right here. And you make that using an RE battery, some refined iron, and iron furnace. Um, or like this. I usually make it uh, this way, I think. That's just a bit easier for me. I don't know why. Um, yeah, that's sort of the most low version of power you can get. Now, I'll stop this in here now. Let's see. So what, what do we need for that? again? Let's have another look because we don't want to make too much. We don't want to smelt too much of the sticky resin because we can um, get a lot more rubber from it later on. So let's see. Um, we don't need any for here, although we do need, and I don't know why I can't click on this, but for an RE battery, let's see, battery, um, we need a copper cable. Now that uses six rubber because we need these cables. So you get six at a time, but we need six rubber. Um, so that's one thing. Now, when we finish with that, we also want to make the macerator. And the macerator is what is going to make our... No, not sorry, not macerator. What the hell? <laughs> that's my standard ticket stuff. No, we need an extractor. Now, the extractor uses four tree tabs, which is nice and easy. It needs a machine block, which is this refined iron, by the way. And it needs an electronic circuit, which is six of these, plus a redstone and some refined iron. So what we really need to do is smelt a bit more refined iron, because we're going to get about none of it is reached here yet. What? Still flowing through the pipes, I guess. Yeah, there's some coming. I really should put some gold pipes there. Um, yeah, some gold conductive pipes would be nice. Let's see. Do I have any glass? Nope. Okay. We'll do that later. We'll do that later. Okay, so we're also running out of power apparently. What I did down here was get a few more of these engines. Now, I think they all run out of coal. Now, I know I should probably change this to be steam engines, but I just haven't got to it yet. Uh, I know they're a lot more efficient. Oh, God, I'm really running low on this stuff. Yikes. Um, and ideally, I'd want to not go with this at all. I'd, I'd rather go for um, some other type of engine, not the steam one. Which is a lot cooler, I reckon. But I'm not sure if we'll make it, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, there's refined iron. So we need a bit more of that. So I'll wait a bit till that's uh, smelted. Then I'll put some rubber in there, some sticky resin, so that that can get smelted as well. And then I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So I also changed that pipe out with a golden pipe, so that it's going a bit faster now, which is uh, which is nice. So I guess uh, that's a bad box. We don't want to make that first. We want to make the generator first. Now the generator is, uh, as I said, the, the, the very basic way of getting power in, in IC2. And it, and it requires coal as well, which is a bit of a problem for us, but that's okay for now. We're not going to use it too much. So let's see, we need a furnace, we need a machine block, and we need an RE battery. Now, with an RE battery, we're going to need to get some tin, which I have so much of that it's not a problem. Um, right, so let's start with the um, machine block, shall we? Now, we're going to need two of those, because we're also going to need one for the uh, extractor. So let's do, oh, we don't have to do this. Project table, doesn't matter. Okay, that's two. Uh, then we need to make, oh, I think f total, oops, uh, f four of these batteries. And batteries, oh, whoops. First, we need to make some cables. Make some cables. Okay, how many can we make? 18. That should be fine. I'll make a bit more. 24. I might make recipes for these later on. Uh, when I make a new project table specifically for red, uh, for industry craft, one for uh, red power and all that, that will make it a lot easier. Uh, so now that we get these, we put one on top, we put four of these on the sides, we put some um, of these in the middle. Now, I, I reckon we're going to need four. I'm not sure, but I think so. Now, batteries can store power and you can exchange them between machines, which is pretty handy. Uh, copper cables you can just put on the ground and they just transfer power, just like the golden conductive or the stone um, conductive pipes do. Cool. Uh, but of course, they only transport EU, which is the energy unit for um, industrial craft. 
Now, the next thing we're going to need is, I've got one or two, uh, probably, I think one of these little things, these little nifty little gadgets. These are the electronic circuits, sort of the brains of the machine, I guess. Uh, we're also going to need a furnace. Where is my normal furnace? I have one. I don't have one. Okay, we're going to make one then. That's fine. Pretty sure I had one. Might be somewhere else. I think I put it in a machine's... Yeah, I'll probably put it in a machine's um, chest. Right, so let's uh, get this one going first. Uh, furnace on the bottom, machine block there, and... Uh, oh, I completely forgot, what was it? Oh, battery at the top, duh. Right, so that will give us this generator. The next thing we want to make is the extractor. Now, we need some tree taps for that, which we need some wood for. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Uh, we need four tree taps in total, which is very easy to make. Uh, let's get that thing. Now, they don't stack, so it's a bit annoying. No, I thought maybe they've changed it, but they haven't. So, All right. So, we put these in like that. Because if you put two of them together, it repairs them both. But, of course, we don't need that. Now, we'll put a machine block and an electronic circuit in this way and it makes an extractor beautiful now the next thing we want to make is the bat box that i showed you earlier now the bat box pretty much saves all the energy we make so if we make too much energy oh that's not that's it this is it if we make too much energy it's not a problem at all um, because we'll just store it and we can use it later it's not wasteful so this recipe is like this so a copper cable um, five wood of any kind and three batteries and that makes this nifty little bat box okay very nice we have some cables left yes perfect let's go set it up shall we um, let's put these on my hot bar uh, like that and let's uh, we're all going to set it up upstairs first because again this generator is not something I'll keep for a long time and the problem with these copper cables is they only First of all, can carry a low amount of power, which is not really a problem at the moment, but they lose power the longer you run the cable, and it's really quite bad. <laughs> it's a very bad way. So what we want to do is maybe put the generator here or there. Um, or even there. We can do that as well. No, let's put it there. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do is put the bad box down. And the bat box has one dot. The rest has no dots. Now the dot is the input. So we want to have that facing this thing. Uh, sorry, the, the dot is the output actually, sorry. So we want to have that facing downwards. Now you might remember that we made this little nifty thing before this wrench. Now we also need to make that for industrial craft. And to do that, we need some bronze. And I always forget which one it is, but I believe that it's this wrench so make it using uh, six bronze ingots beautiful now if you use that uh, if you right click on it it'll change the output face if you shift right click on it it'll invert it so now it's pointing downwards and that's exactly what we want I didn't think I needed my axe but I do and I have to be a bit careful there's lava there as well <laughs> right so this is all input now and only the bottom outputs some power. So what we want to do is put the extractor here and run a small little cable under it like that. And now if we put some coal in there, which we don't have anymore, which is uh, fantastic. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, I could put wood in there, I guess, but it's not really the <laughs> most ideal way. Uh, we might do that actually because we've got plenty. Let's put wood in there, it's going to heat up and it's going to get this up um, and it's going to power this. Now you can see it stores 40,000 EU, it can output 32 EU a tick. Now that's very important, you have to keep that in mind. Um, let's see, so that's just burning this out, that's fine. And this should be getting power as well, as you can see here. Now if we get our um, sticky resin, where did I put that thing here? And we chuck that in here. That will start extracting now it's very slow however every piece of sticky resin makes free rubber so you triple your rubber output which is very very nice so you see that's going up uh it's charging pretty fast generators are not bad at all it's just you have to have a lot of wood or coal or charcoal you know which is a bit wasteful ow 
Uh, oh, as you might have noticed, by the way, every time I went to the nether, uh, so to the nether to the uh, uh, strip mining, I also brought three empty buckets with me, uh, and that's just so I can get some extra lava in here. Of course, when we go to the nether, that's not really uh, useful anymore, but for now, it's quite useful. Uh, you can actually put uh, lava in these as well. Actually, hang on, we might do that right now. Get these buckets out. Uh, let's get everything off my hot bar. Get one, two, three, and we can put this these in here. Now they're not going to be used till this is out. Uh, that's okay. Perfect. Now a lava will run for quite a long time, so that's it's it's a pretty good fuel source. It's just a problem that you have to go get it. Unless you can get to the nether, which is uh, definitely my plan. Now you can see it did, I had 34, now I've got 31, and I've got 9 rubber already. Perfect. So that is definitely going to help. Radio. So that will be our basic industrial craft setup. We don't need anything else. Normally, uh, as you, if, if you follow me in tech kit, you've seen my macerate and all that. That's what I would usually do. Um, but we've got the pulverize for that. So hey, nice and easy. Um, the pulverize is all done, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Um, I should probably turn these engines off, actually, because they... Why would they be on? That's not good at all. I could have stopped wasting this as well, but that's okay. Do my... Un do my... Ah, oh, okay, there it is. Right. Put those back in the bag. There we go. It's always handy to have with you, because it's always nice to have some lava at home, just in case you don't have any coal. Very, very cool. Now, the next thing we're going to work on is the enchanting room. Yes. So, uh, to get started with that, we need to make, of course, an enchanting table. And there's uh, primarily one reason I want the enchanting room for now, and that's to enchant my pickaxe. So, hopefully, uh, triple my um, drops, which would be very nice. And I've got 50 levels, as you can see. So, we need two diamonds, a lot of obsidian, and a book. Now, I've got a lot of obsidian somewhere here. Uh, we need four, I think, two diamonds. I've got some diamonds, not too many, but that's okay. And a book. And for a book, we need... Oh, hello. I don't know you. Uh, for a book, we need some leather and some paper, which I still had. So that's very nice. Uh, how do you make... I have no idea how you make a book again. I completely forgot. Let's see. Chanting, book. Uh, okay, easy. I actually have never, yeah, I have actually, but not much, made books in uh, 1.4. Damn it. <laughs> that was bound to happen, wasn't it? Right, there you go. And, oh, actually, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Don't mind me. Right, enchanting table. Nice and easy. Now, we're going to need a lot of bookcases to encase this in. So, why don't I be right back and I'll get some letter from all the cows that are outside there. I've got so many. They're even invading the sheep uh, pen here. And I'll see how many bookcases I can make. So, I will be right back. No, no, I'm back. No, <laughs> I was looking up a recipe outside after getting all my letter. Oh, God, creeper. I hate you, creeper. Oops, I kind of broke his house as well. Hmm. Ugh, okay, I'll be right back. I've got a fair amount of letter though. I've got 39, I think. I yep. So I'll go fix this and I'll be right back again. All right, guys, welcome back. I've got 24 bookshelves and one enchantment table, of course. Uh, it took me a while. <laughs> I didn't have enough carrots, so I killed pretty much all of them except two, and I'm breeding those two again. <laughs> it's a bit horrible, but hey, it had to be done. Now my enchanting room, I'm not sure where I want this thing to be yet. I reckon, because it's kind of a nice looking room, so I think it's going to be here. And I don't want to make it out of the standard material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this like you would expect. And lay this out. Let's see, there's always three in between. So then it goes like this. Oh, hello. Ah, you missed me. Poor shot. Right, and so, whoopsie. I will just lay it out. I'm not going to make it yet this episode. Um, right, I already uh, lifted this, by the way. This is all dirt. I, I've had to fill this. This was all big chasm, which is a bit annoying. Uh, whoops, let's not do that. Okay, so this thing will have to be in the middle. Uh, it's going to be a very small room, actually, so I'm not sure if I should make this whole extension. 
Hmm. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to change up our tactic a little bit. We're going to do that. And maybe make it open up a little bit. So I'll, I'll fix all this later. I'll make it look pretty later. We're going to get this really small room. Nice. Uh, and it's going to be a magic room, of course, with enchantments. So let's get our bookcases out. Uh, okay, how does this work again? I think there's only, f you need 15 only, but I've got way too many. Uh, but that's cool. Why did I make so many? I thought I needed, oh, I was counting on all sides instead of being smart and knowing that I don't have to do the hole in the wall and stuff. So I think this should already entitle me to level 30. Oh no, I died. I had so many levels. No. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's bad. Anyways, we need to, um, let's see. I'll, I'll have to go mining anyway, so I'll get those levels. It goes so fast at this new mining mechanic. Uh, let's see, we need, a, that's uh, six. 12, 18, so that's three too many. Which ones could we remove to make it look a bit nicer? I reckon maybe these. Uh, yeah. Now, can I still get to level 30? Yes. Okay, cool. So, I'll make this glass or something nice, you know. Now, the rest of the little room. Actually, how am I? I'm completely messing this up, aren't I? No, because this is going to be outside wall, so that's fine. And then, yeah, this will be a hole in here. This will be the entry. So I'll have to change around a bit. But this is going to be basically this. Um, so I'll have to go mining anyways between episodes. This is a good wrapping up point, I guess. Um, it's a bit sad. I wanted to finish this, but I guess the levels. Ugh. Stupid creeper. I didn't even think of that when I happened. I'll make a little a little room for the enchanting. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make another corridor here maybe that will go... So this will be off to this side, and then the corridor will go like this, maybe. Or another room this way. Yeah, I think there might be another room this way. And we'll put this as an extension, maybe more towards this area here. So I'll have to fill that up as well. All right, well, that sounds like a good idea. Um, so last question before I go, um, ending episode 11. I don't know if you noticed, but I changed my style up a little bit. Um, let me fix this whilst I talk. <laughs> That annoys me. Um, I'm trying to cut in and out more instead of just going off and doing stuff and then coming back and showing you guys. Uh, I can understand that that gets boring at times. Um, some stuff I will always do off camera and not even, damn it, not even talk to you about. Like the farms, they just, everyone can do a freaking farm, you know. Um, it's so easy. But other stuff like this, um, like the rubber and stuff, I'll, I'll try and cut in and out a bit more now. Let me know if you enjoy that or not. Um, also, oh, that looks weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's like that is part of the uh, tree. Um, also, what is the ideal length for you guys in episodes? Because I can literally talk about this for an hour. Now, an hour is too long, but um, what is it? 20 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, 25 minutes? Um, let me know as well. My preference has always been about 20 minutes, but I feel that with Feed the Beast, there is so much to do that... And you can only do one episode a day, really. You know, that's sort of the limit of people watching, really. So I'm really starting to think that, where's my torches? That I might want to do maybe 25 to 30 minutes sometimes. So let me know what you think. Um, thanks for watching. I am Boxer Gaming, and I will see you next time.